And welcome back to Channel 9. I'm Brian Keller, and I'm here with my good friend and colleague, Martin Woodward. Martin, you are in town for the uh, ALM Summit. It's yeah, happening here in Redmond. We've just announced some very exciting news that I want to share with you. Yeah, I would love to get right into it. What's the scoop? Okay, so we've announced two things. Uh, we've announced full Git support added to the Team Foundation service. Mm -hmm. So you now can create both TFVC, traditional Team Foundation version control projects, and now uh, Git version control projects, okay. all integrated inside of the Team Foundation service. You know, with work item tracking and builds and everything you know and love about TFS. Just a slight, just a different a distributed workflow. Okay, so. great. And the second one? The second one is we've also announced a, a full Visual Studio integration uh, for Git as well. So you can use uh, Visual Studio talking to uh, Git uh, repositories. T uh, cats and dogs living together, isn't <laughs> exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. let's uh, so let's dive right in. So okay. so you said that I can I can turn on Git for Team Foundation service, right? Yeah. Let me show you that. So if I go to New Project, I can just come in here and type a project name, and you see down by the version control, I can actually pick which version control I would like. So Team Foundation version control, or if I want a Git workflow. So okay. uh, I'm going to say Git, and I could hit Create there. In the interest of time, I've actually gone ahead and created one already, so I can just navigate straight straight to that. And uh, there we go. It's a, a Git project up in the service. So, so this is a Git endpoint. I mm -hmm. can connect to this from any of my traditional Git clients, right? I can, I can use. Yes, yeah, so you can use. You can or... use. You could use Posh Git on Windows, for uh -huh. example, or you know a normal Git for Windows. Okay. Um, or if you want, you can jump over to the Mac and you know all the crazy operating systems and just use the standard Git tooling that comes on those operating systems, like an Xcode or the command line as well. Okay, great. So that's so that's what most people are probably already familiar yep. with today. Let's show the new experience, which is this first class Git experience straight from within Visual Studio. That's right. So if we go to uh, Visual Studio, here we have, um, we see this is the new plugin page, and you can see we, we, we've got all our repositories. Mm -hmm. Down here, I have a list of um, a bunch of local repositories. So I actually work on a couple of GitHub projects, libgit2, which is an open source project this is based on. Okay. Um, that's a GitHub project, so I've got that cloned down locally, and the Visual Studio tooling works great against that. I've got a Coplex project here, you know, Bitbucket. They all work just fine. Anywhere that has a Git endpoint, you can yeah. connect to straight from within. Exactly. Yeah. Even if it's just a local Git repository, you can just go, you know, file new, right. add to source control Git, and it's just there. And okay. you, you don't need a server to talk to. Git's sure. distributed. Great. Uh -huh. Great. But here we, if I just do, um, I can connect to team projects, and I could actually, you know, connect to that Channel 9 project there. And if I just jump over to that project, when you first come in, it's going to ask you to clone the repository. So let's take a copy of the entire repository mm -hmm. and pull it down onto your local disk. So I hit that. I say uh, clone that into the Channel 9 folder there, hit clone, and that's going to take the, the repository from the server, bring it down locally, and now I have it locally. Okay. So let's make some, let's do some code. So let's just do a quick, you know, I was saying file new project, and I'm going to create a console. I'll just create a quick console application in the Channel 9 add to source control. And it's clever enough to detect that, hey, this is a Git repository. And mm -hmm. so it'll just automatically bind up the Git version control provider and flip over to Git version control and just it'll just work. That's awesome. So I'm going to come in here, right click, you know, do commit. Notice uh, we're using all the Git words. So commit, I can come in, uh, just make a quick change here. Again, initial version, hit commit. And so that's committed it locally. I can make so another quick change here. Uh, so, you know, hello, Niners. <laughs> There we go. It's Mave. And then I can, um, again, just come in here and just commit that locally. Second change. Now, uh, with Git, what you're doing is you're actually um, you're committing locally. So if I look here, I've got two outgoing commits. So these are changes I've made locally, but I haven't pushed up to the server yet. Okay. So to share them with your team, you come in and you just push them to the server, and off it goes, pushing it up to pushing the branch up to the server. And there we so it's um, it's it's sent them up to TFS. Nice. Yeah. So then, if I was to go back to the home page, I can just come in here, uh, you know, get changes. I can look at my branches and my commits. But if I go over to Web Access again, and we just bring that up, and then go into the code. And we can see here, there's the Git repository um, inside of Team Foundation version control. And if you haven't seen already, this is quite the cool you know, web version control experiences we have now in TFS. So I can come in, I can click on history. We can see there, there's a nice change. And it's the same stuff you know and love about TFS, just in, uh, just 
and it's just Git. Yeah, very good. That that's awesome. That was really easy. And so uh, a few months ago, we mm -hmm. actually on Channel Nine had Matthew Mitrick here, and he was talking about Git TF, a ah, command line client. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is that is that still alive and well? Yeah. So Git TF is a way because distributed version control and centralized version control mm -hmm. are very very different workflows. Sure. And what we're announcing today is that we support both. You don't have to. You don't have to just use centralized version control sure. with TFS. You could use distributed, which is backed by Git. Mm -hmm. um, so Git TF allows you to take a TF version control repository and commit parts of it into a Git repository, or take code from a Git repository and channel it back to the a TFS. Around. Yeah. Got so it. that way, say if you're an iOS developer mm -hmm. team, you can be working in Git and sharing all your changes in TFS. Uh, but you might need to pull stuff in or push stuff to a, a TFS project that the whole company uses. Yeah. And you can just do that and manage the workflows through Git TF. Got it. So a range of options available. Git yep. TF for synchronizing between two repositories. Yep. There's the Visual Studio provider for Git. Git. Did I yep. get the name right? Uh -huh. And that's for a first class experience within Visual Studio for connecting to any Git repository. Yep. And then there's TF, Team Foundation service support uh -huh. for Git repositories. I'm sure the next question a lot of people yeah. are going to be asking is, will we have uh, native Git support Within Team Foundation server on premises. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So the plan is in the next major release, we'll um, include it in the service and in the, the on-premise server, okay. on-premises server. Okay. And we'll also include the Git provider will be included in the box of Visual Studio all editions, including Express. Great. So that's in that's in the future though. That's, that's not in the today. future. What right. we've announced today is this, and you can get hold of it today if you go to aka.ms/slash-git-vs. Awesome. Thanks for being on the show, Mark. Thank you very much.